You know the old saying, it ain't rocket science? Well, for Jim Baker, for many years, it was rocket science. But now he focuses on science by the glass as an engineer of the vineyard. I was in, in charge of all the structural and thermal analysis for the rocket engines. Jim Baker worked in the aerospace defense world his entire career, starting as an intern at Sierra Research. You must have worked on some incredible projects. Uh, yeah, I have stuff in space. I Sierra, Viatran, Ultrascan, Moog, just to name a few of the stops in Jim's illustrious career that spanned four decades and includes five patents and some very impressive projects. We did design the propulsion system um, for the Galileo uh, system, which is the European version of GPS. But Jim's journey has brought him back down to earth and enjoying the fruits of a life well lived. This, this is a love story and I say if, if life's not a love story you're not doing it right. <laughs> and this love story began with a date set up by a mutual friend. Jim met Kathy and knew she was his future. We've been married 39 years. Uh, she's from Jamestown. I'm from here. Uh, here being Niagara County. After graduating from Barker High School, he went on to Alfred, got his bachelor's degree from Buff State, and his master's from Niagara. I used to go visit her when we were dating. Uh, and they had wineries open down in the Jamestown area and not up here at the time, you know, 40 years ago. Uh, so we used to go visit the wineries as a date. And we were young and in love, and the air was full of romance. And while we were falling in love with each other, why we fell in love with the whole lifestyle of food and wine. And they always dreamed of growing their own grapes and making their own wine. And as their love grew, their dreams started to become reality. And we looked for about 10 years before we found this spot, and then we knew this was it when we found it. The perfect spot, the perfect environment, and in 2006, Chateau Niagara was born. 31 acres of prime farmland on the banks of 18 Mile Creek in Newfane, and they began growing some high-quality wine grapes, what's known as the King Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir, Merlot, just the beginning of an impressive list. But for many years, it was a hobby or a side gig until very recently. And so then I was farmer, vintner, engineer. And I did that for a long time. I retired only two years ago. And all those skills come together in an incredible way. Jim describes himself as both right and left brained, so he can embrace the technical and the creative aspects of the craft. That makes those guys uh, that fall into that category um, really interested in both the technical sides of things and the creative sides of things. And he brings both sides into his winemaking. This is just one piece of equipment that Jim invented. It's a grape shredding device, allowing for different winemaking techniques and flavors. But as technically savvy as he is, his approach to life is quite simple. What are you most proud of? The love of my wife, the love of my family. You know, uh, that's always number one. And as you can plainly see, Jim and Kathy live by the motto, love like a fine wine gets better with age. Oh, I love that. What a yeah. great story. And now I definitely want to visit there.